What's up guys, I just wanted to uh, give you a vinyl update, show you guys what I got on Record Store Day in April, and some other recent pickups. Uh, for Record Store Day, um, I got Citizen Dick from the movie Singles, fictional band with most of the members of Pearl Jam. So there's the front cover and the back. And the single, oh, got a sticker right here. Sis and Dick's sticker. Um, it's got writing on here. Lyrics, I think. And then the single. It's just uh, one song on the front. Pretty cool pickup. It took me forever to get to uh, Charlie's Records in Albuquerque because the Pearl Jam website was doing a uh, Record Store Day mystery vinyl. And it took about an hour for me to uh, realize that I wasn't going to get any um, vinyl from them, um, but it was worth it. Uh, there was a chance I could get some rare vinyl from Pearl Jam, but it didn't work out. I also got The Kinks. He really got me. Um, recorded live at the Twickenham Television Studios. Great band. Go ahead and open that up. Alright. So, single. He really got me. From the television studios and Milk Cow Blues. These are both live, I believe. Alright, now, also, the only other thing I bought in Record Store Day at Charlie's Records was Mystery Vinyl, and I've been waiting to do this video to see what I got. Paid 11 bucks. See what's in here. Ooh. Alright, looks like I have the Ramones. Nice, man. The Ramones. Cheyenne is a punk rocker live. Multicolor vinyl. Hope I said that name right, Cheyenne. Um, and then the other side looks like Husker Do. Same song. It's pretty cool. Check it out. I like the Ramones. Influential band. Alright, and... Some other vinyl I got. Um, I picked up this. This was actually a Record Store Day 2014 Soundgarden, um, the uh, Super Unknown singles, and I didn't get it that day. It cost 65 bucks, but I waited. Still sealed um, on eBay. I got it for 45 bucks. About a year later, but still a pretty good deal. So go ahead and open that. There's the back right there. Check out the records. These are all 10 inch. Nice uh, art on the front covers there. Well, that's worth the wait, I would say. So we got Spoon Man. Check out the uh, vinyl. Nice black vinyl there. Got some more uh, art on the vinyl. That's a pretty cool pickup. I'll be listening to those. Um, so we got Spoon Man. The Day I Tried to Live. Cool song. Great song. Black Hole Sun. Classic. And uh, some live on side two, Beyond the Wheels, Fell on Black Days Live. Nice, man. It's a good pickup. My Wave, um, Birth Ritual, original demo version, My Wave Live. So, got some live songs on here. Fell on Black Days, side one. Side two, Fell on Black Days, a video version. And Girl You Want in Black Days 3. Interested to listen to that. That's a cool pickup. I'm glad I got that one, man. Alright, another pickup is, uh, I've been waiting to open this one too, is uh, Pearl Jam Vault Number 4. They've been uh, releasing a series of vaults, live shows. Um, this is a fourth one. This is their first um, show from the Binaural Tour in 2000. It kicked off a massive tour. They toured everywhere that year. Um, and a uh, great um, live band, of course. 
So there's the front cover right there. Go ahead and open it. Has a picture of the outside of the venue it looks like and the songs. There's the picture of him playing live there. Nice black vinyl. At uh, Mount Baker Theater, 510-2000. That, that kicked off their tour right there. Got a scratch on it. Oh, right there. It's a big scratch. I hope it plays. Anyway. Um, has some, like, looks like shots from maybe a big screen that they were showing the uh, concert on. There's the vinyl. Another scratch on here. Got multiple scratches. I don't know if you could see them. Kind of worried now. I hope they play. And vault number five uh, just announced uh, the release a uh, show from 1993 in Vegas and I'll definitely pick that up it costs around 60 bucks it's the last vinyl I believe no scratches on the last vinyl so I know that one will play hope they all play and there is a picture of the ticket booth an uh, old looking ticket booth from like the 20s or 30s probably outside of the Baker Theater um, songs and then the back side all right i'll check this out hope it plays um and some other pickups i got on record store day they were uh, 30 percent off at hastings got a uh, guns and roses use your illusion 2 good album follow up to uh classic album appetite for destruction back in the uh, early 90s early early 90s all right we have the Lyric sheet, cover, two uh, two vinyls right there. Got some nice live pictures of the band, a classic band. Wish they would have made more records together, but that's all right. I think all their music that they came out with in the late '80s, early '90s were really good. So, some more pictures. Like it, really colorful, like the '80s, you know. Colorful pictures. There's the other record, side three and four. 180 gram vinyl re release, so I'm sure it sounds good. And I'll get Use Your Illusion 1. They just didn't have it in stock that day. So, next, uh, you know, vinyl sale, if it's in stock, I'll, I'll buy it at a certain point. Go ahead and put that over here. And then I also got Led Zeppelin. Houses of the Holy, classic band. Um, they re-released all their records on 180 gram vinyl, all, the, all their albums on a 180 gram vinyl. Um, looks like this is a gatefold. It's front cover, right there, classic cover. Inside cover. Looks like we got the lyric sheet right here. Nice paper sheet. Kind of classic, and then the classic record. You know, I have a lot of their albums from the original releases back when they came out. So this uh, this is one that I didn't have, so I went and bought it. But I probably am not going to buy all the re-releases unless I don't have them. So I have so. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on the turntable and listen to them.